By the way, those control arms are brand new Rough Country control arms and they're already looking pretty bad, so that's not good. I'm gonna have to take care of that as soon as we get back. I think I'm gonna check out the parts tomorrow with the brand new four wheel drive place. I think I'll head there tomorrow because it's actually gonna be even hotter than today. So we're gonna head there tomorrow and for today I'm gonna be able to fix up those parts and then we're gonna do something longevity wise for the Cummins. Man, talk about needing a wider lens for this camera. So talk about hot day, just roll the window down. Look at that, man. Gosh, it's nice temperature out today. So yeah, let's get home. Let's paint that shiced up with rust paint. And then we're gonna be taking out that Cummins after we fix her up with some goodies. So check out that Ford over there, nice. So yeah, there's some cool trucks here today. So I, I do love those new Ford Super Duties. I do wanna test drive one of those pretty soon. So I'll definitely bring you guys along whenever that happens. And of course, we'll probably bring somebody with us to be able to help film. Cause I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna be liable for a, such a niche, nice truck and have to film and all that. So it'd be pretty cool. So yeah guys, we are on the new camera here today. But whenever we do get that new GoPro, I may start recording those videos in 4K, 60 frames. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. Let me know if I should do it. I know, a lot of you, I know a lot of you guys out there have said for me to start recording 4K. I did put out some videos in the past of 4K. I will do it again. Beautiful day out today, man. Let's get home. All right, guys, let's open up this Cummins here. And I would do this to the Silverado, but I'm not going to be able to do that yet because I can't even open that hood. I could open that hood, but I don't know if it'll close again. So I'm not trying to worry about it or have to tie it down. That's what I also was thinking. If I, if it opened or something, I could probably just tie it down. Here in the engine bay, gosh, it looks so beautiful in here. I wish I was a bit taller though. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, whole job all done to me. Basically, all the modifications you see in here are done by me, and that is the truth. So what I'm going to do is just check the transmission fluid real quick. Alright guys, now tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Looks real nice man, maybe I could focus it better over here. I don't know, doesn't seem to want to focus but there we go. Looks good to me. So we got this right here, some Transmedic Shift Improver. Let's see how she does. So what I'm noticing here is that this fluid isn't Lucas, but, you know, if it doesn't work, we'll get some Lucas fluid in there. Well, here goes nothing. Let me fire her up real quick. Got some of this right here, saves a lot for your comments. STP Ultra Diesel Fuel System Cleaner. Gosh, I got it all over my hands. Here goes up. Oh, there we go. It smells awful, by the way. I think that's all of it. Gosh, it smells horrible. Alright, I got that stuff that closed up over there. Good to go. Let's close her up. Get going, man. All right, so we're on the drive now, back in the truck, and yeah, you're not gonna really notice anything for at least 50 to 100 miles, I think. Maybe sometimes you can notice it right at first, but probably not with this truck, not really sure, or I have no idea. So let's drive it a little bit, warm her up, bring her back and everything like that. I figured today would be a good day to do this because it's pretty warm outside and it's gonna warm up pretty quickly, so. And tomorrow, we're also gonna be taking out this truck, I'm pretty sure, so yeah may not be the only day it might be a two-day cummins thing and of course whenever we drop off the other truck it's gonna be cummins content every single day so it's gonna be awesome holy cow i'm actually noticing smoother transmission shifting already i i'm not endorsed by this product at all and i'm not 
not just making this up. It's actually kind of smoother now that I, now that I'm actually on it. It actually was a good bit harsher than before. So this is cool. I bought these products at a discount store, so <laughs> I paid two bucks for the transmission stuff, believe it or not. And then the other stuff was probably about three or four bucks. So that's crazy, man. And yeah, I got to buy some more of it now. that <laughs> we got this OBS so yeah guys I'm with the Cummins right here and definitely definitely use some transmission fluid if you need it and also also fuel additive because that can only boost your octane which will give you more performance and more fuel economy at the same time. So it's definitely something to do for your Cummins right here. And I'm glad I did it, it was really cheap. Obviously I went with, I would go with Lucas. That's what everyone says to go with if you're gonna use a transmission additive. But since I got it so cheap, I figured I'd try it. And I mean, if it, if it doesn't work after a little bit, I'll add some more. But I mean, it's definitely something to do. I don't know if it was ever used in this truck. I'm the second owner of the truck and it's got higher mileage than the Silverado, so figured I'd give it a shot. So I drove to the Cummins to this location because look at this. Oh yeah. Beautiful day to go for a nice drive in the truck with no exhaust. Everybody's staring because of how loud this thing is. 